In this video, we describe proper technique for removing a Foley catheter. Very briefly, we want to go over the design of a catheter system. You'll notice that every catheter has a balloon at the end of it. This is located within your bladder and it's holding the catheter in place so it doesn't slide out. In order to remove the catheter, this balloon must be deflated. This may be done by identifying the balloon port on the Foley catheter. Now there are several different kinds of catheters, but all catheters have a balloon port which is easily identified as the short port that has a colorful plastic tip. Now what you want to do is identify this balloon port and simply cut the tubing that connects the port to the catheter. You'll notice that when this tubing is cut, water comes leaking out. Also notice that the balloon is deflating. Don't worry if this fluid gets on you, it's just sterile water. Now that the balloon has been deflated, you should be able to pull the catheter out with very minimal resistance. Once again, to reiterate the instructions, you're going to identify the balloon port. The balloon port will be the one that has the colorful plastic applicator. And you're going to cut the tubing which connects the balloon port to the remainder of the catheter. You'll wait about 30 to 60 seconds until the sterile water stops leaking out. And at that point, you should effortlessly be able to pull the catheter out of your body. We're going to demonstrate that again on the other catheter here. The balloon port is identified and it is transected right at the area below the colorful cap. Sterile fluid will come leaking out. And as that fluid leaks out, the balloon will deflate. Wait about a minute and you should be able to glide it out of your body without any resistance. Of course, if you encounter any difficulty or resistance, you should stop and let our office remove the catheter for you.